Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to more TGC 2019 and we have another CC design contest course for you today and this one is by Mio <clears throat> and it's called Two Sisters Falls. So as you see everything's on default, the fairways are normal, the greens are normal, the green speed is fast. We're playing off the gold tees, it's coming in at 7,070 yards. Now we're playing off pin set number one. Let's get going. <clears throat> okay. Love the colours. Oh, that green is just so lush, and you've got that light. It looks like um, kind of late evening, just as a uh, sort of finishing your round kind of thing. Got that sort of orangey type of glow from the sun, if you know what I mean. That's what it looks like. Very nice. Right, let's get the old sky cam up, and we shall have a little look around. Come on, hurry up. There we go. Oops, bloody wrong button. I've done it that long, okay, I'm even forgetting the bloody buttons. Right, let's have a look, see what we've got here. Okay, clubhouse. Is this clubhouse over here? Oh, look at that. That looks nice. <coughs> we'll have a look at that in a second. Yeah, it looks like the sun's sort of in behind the clouds quite a lot. Nice little practice area there. Nice little clubhouse love that bit of planting with a fence around it and you've got a driving range there let's go up and have a look at the plot shall we very nice okay let's get back down we'll get to the falls in a minute we'll just take a little wander around and see what else we've got i don't know if this might look better with a a different light to be honest I don't know but it's what the designer put down it probably does look good but I think the sun is probably behind the cloud at the moment it'll probably look a bit better when the sun comes out okay what we got over here okay you got another tea box there nice I like the little houses and that they've got some cracking planting all the way around this sort of water area here nice little bit of rock work there as well yeah, you see, the sun's sort of just coming out round there. Look, it must be over that direction. Again, nice rock work there as well. Lovely planting. Hey, a nice little, little golf cart on the bridge there. <laughs> hey, you see, look, you see the sun coming out now. Yeah, it must be behind like a cloud. As you see the cloud moving, you probably get quite a bit of sunshine from that big cloud there in the middle. Just sort of moves away. I like the sort of dappled effect you get though when you, you it's just sort of just coming through the clouds. <clears throat> you see the house over there, you see the sunshine that and the house there and little bits in the bunker and that as well. Okay, it does look very nice. I do like this sort of bridge work here. It's done with the rocks there as well. Again, lovely planting. I like this sort of just that little bit of a break up with the colours there. I do like the old tropical course as well with the palm trees and stuff like that. Okay, let's head over this way. And again, this sort of plant you can see with the, the red. Very nice. A nice retaining wall that. Again, you've got that sort of red colouring with the flowers going all the way around it. I like them little sort of, <clears throat> that little bit there. It's got the different sort of levels to it. It's very well done. Okay, nice little houses with the gardens and stuff there. Yeah, that red texture around the bottom, the base of the trees really stands out as well. Done a really good job with that. <clears throat> okay, let's make our way around to where the, the waterfalls are. We've got over here, like a big inlet just coming in there. Again, lovely rock work. Yeah, like you see there, like this back bit here, it's like dead dark and shadowy. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know if that would look better in a, a different light, to be honest. Okay, 
Okay, let's head over towards... Oh, there's a, like a big house up there as well. See, I think because of the height of this, it's catching the sun as well, the waterfalls. That is beautiful looking. That really is nice. Done a cracking job on that. Oh, I like that. That is very nice. That's probably some of the best waterfalls I've seen, to be honest. A cracking job. I'll take a little screenshot of that. That probably won't be my screenshot, though. Because <coughs> I do like to get a bit of the course in with a screenshot uh, for the thumbnails. Okay, we've had a little look around. Ooh, sounds a bit blowy out there. So let's get down to the first tee here. As you see, we're in like sort of shadow there. And again, look, see, it's all sort of dark around that section there. You just get a little bit of sun coming through. Okay, but I do love this sort of lush green color to it though. Okay, let's put the, the HUD back on. And we shall get underway. Oh, 11 mile an hour wind. Now, somebody did mention in the comment section the other day, was why don't you ever play in high winds? I never change the settings. I always play the settings that the designers have set out. And if it's high winds, I'll play them. If it's not, I won't play them. Okay, 12 mile an hour coming in from the left. Oh, one, 416 yards, par four stroke index 12. Now, with that wind coming straight across, I think we should be able to reach across over there, you know. I reckon we will. Oh, that's a bit of a crappy swing. Oh, easily made it over there. We're going to be on a right to left slope here, though. And going right against the wind. Okay, 98. So it's playing. Ooh. Let's go up to the 108. That should do it. A little tiny touch of down loft there. That's a better swing. Now that's going to be left of the pin. <coughs> that slope moved up more than I thought. A lot more than I thought. So what's the green speed? So 175. Good speed. Okay, 18 feet. Oh, no one here. I could have put a little bit more weight on that. Could have took some of the break out. So we'll start off with a par. And the par's always a good start. Now you'll find out tonight as well. <coughs> we'll usually be watching this on... <clears throat> Excuse me. What day is it? It's Thursday. Yeah, you will be watching this. Oh, there you go. Your sun's coming out now. Yeah, tonight, well, Thursday a.m., uh, you'll find out who the winner is of the major design competition. That one I did with the, the, all the 25 courses. So the, the winner has been announced tonight. So we'll find out who that is. Okay, 108, 28 down. So it's playing around about 98. So if we go... Thinking where it go down to the 94, just a tiny touch of down loft. I think that might be the best way to do it. Oh, that's not bad. Not too bad. We should pick up the birdie there. There you go, the light sort of, the sun is just sort of lighting up that sort of little hillside down. Pretty tough little putt though. But we get the birdie. Okay, who we got here? Yeah. We'll just carry on. <laughs> a lot of the times I play I put on um the Soul Society because it kinda of puts me off if like somebody joins and I, I hear the ball hitting um, when I'm trying to speak and things like that, or when it hits the green and I'm trying to putt and things like that. So I touch Tend to now just do everything in the solar societies. Okay, hole three, 457 yards, par four, stroke index four, 12 mile an hour wind right against us here. Yeah, with this uh, sort of light, it's hard to see this sort of first cut. So we should be able to just smack one right down the middle here. That should be absolutely fine. <coughs> 
I'll have to have a look actually. Um, I know quite a lot of the courses that got knocked out in the first and second rounds. I'll have to have a look, see what courses are still in, and see which one I think oh, might win. I'll have to have a look. Okay, 158. <clears throat> Playing 159. Let's put a little bit of down loft on this. Okay, it's going to be a little bit right at the pin now. Oh, was that a slope? No, that's not That's not too bad. <clears throat> uh oh, no, it has caught a slope. Oh, come on, stop. Come on. Again, something I'm not looking at that I really should be doing is paying a little more attention to the greens, going in a bit closer, looking where the slopes are, and aiming away from them. Okay, we'll go here 24 feet, one foot up. Right. This should not turn hardly any. Oh, I've not hit it hard enough. Oh, ho, 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 it dropped. I honestly didn't think I hit that hard enough. A little bit of a toe curl on that one. Okay, hope four, 453 yards. Puff off, struck in next six. I like how he's got the trees really close to the tee here. <clears throat> And again, you can just see some of the sun come through across the fairway there as well, and some of it on the bunker. Nice little retaining wall on that right edge of the bunker there. Okay, eight mile an hour wind. Oh, it's fast, but I did aim it right over to the right hand side of the fairway there, so I hope that's going to be good. Nope, it's not. Come on, keep going, keep going. Ho ho, nice. Just go out of that one. Okay, 133, 18 up. So that is playing about 139. Okay, 139. 136. Let's put some loft on that. Oh, no, fast. Yep, I felt that on the downswing. Oh, right over the top. Not very good, that one. So it's probably going to leave us a little chip here, I think. Yeah, we'll get away with a the chip there, I reckon. Oh, I don't know. Let's put it to... Oh, back, back. Chip. Put it back to there, I think. Oh, I don't know. don't know where to go with a, a flop or not here. Oh, well, that worked out okay. Just so I hit the fringe. That was absolutely perfect, actually. Okay, little tap in. So let's have a look at the scorecard. Okay, two birdies and two pars. Hole 5, 586 yards, par 5, stroke index 16. Yeah, I'd like to, I don't know, I think I'd like to play this like maybe afternoon time or something. You've got the sun all over the course. But again, I do like that effect. You've got the long shadows. I mean, look at that, that tree over there. Look how long the shadow is coming off that tree. Okay. You try and feed it right through this little area there. Oh, that's a peach of a drive. <clears throat> Absolutely spot on. Okay, 300 yards. Now it leaves us 276. Ooh, 275. Probably could reach this, you know. Just let the wind drag it in a little bit. Oh, that's looking not bad if it hits the green. Oh, it's got a little bit more to the left than I thought, though. Wow. Only six mile an hour wind. <clears throat> that pushed that quite a bit. So I think we're probably going to take a flop here. Oh, I don't, don't fancy um, doing a chip from that. So let's go with a little flop shot. Just like a little half swing here. 
and that'll do perfectly and we'll still pick up the birdie. K hole 6, 299 yards, par 4, stroke index 14. So it's a very, very short par 4. <coughs> Looks like we'll probably reach it, but looking where that pin is, you're having to go over the top of this water here. Yeah. Pretty dodgy. We shall see. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. I mean, if I aim down there, but it's down, it's down hill. So it's going to go even further. I'm going to have to go with a two wood here and aim it right over here and just let that wind sort of carry it back in, I think. Come on, wind, push it around. Oh, I thought that wind would have moved that more than that. It's amazing, isn't it? That six mile an hour wind that I hit earlier, it moved the ball more than what 12 mile an hour moved it there. <laughs> Okay, 30 yards, two feet down. Let's drop that down to 24 because it's going to run a bit once it hits the green. Oh, but it's bloody slow as well. That should run down towards the hole. And again, we should pick up the birdie from here. I don't know if I told you. <laughs> oh, oh, it was mental. I know how the last video I said um, I hadn't put a video up for a few days because it was the wife's birthday and stuff like that. <clears throat> well, Saturday night, she had two friends around. Um, she works with them, so the social distance and that doesn't really matter because they work in that kind of environment. They're all carers. Uh, they're sitting in the garden having a drink, and I come out of the computer room. Goes to go downstairs, 135, 10 down, so it's playing around about 132, 122, let's put a bit of loft on that. And we've got two cats and a dog. The youngest cat's named Rufus, he's pure white, except for a black tail. And he's got two little black ears, but he's only, he's only young, he's just about a year and a half, two years old now. <clears throat> and as I said, he is pure white, like really, really white. And I came out of my computer and got to the top of the stairs and he was halfway up the stairs and I looked at him and he looked funny. He had something in his mouth and then I seen this red on him as well. And he ran past me and I grabbed him and I picked him up and his chest was covered in red. It was just pure. I thought he'd, he'd been attacked or something by a dog. But in his mouth, he had a load of feathers. He had a feather stuck to his like eyebrow above his eye. He had feathers on the back of his neck. <clears throat> I took him downstairs into the garden where the missus and that was. I says, what the hell's happened to him? Oh, he's just come over the garden fence with a, a pigeon. <laughs> he's, he's killed a pigeon, brought it over the garden fence. The missus and that grabbed him, took the pigeon off and like put it in the bin. But he still had this mouthful of feathers and feathers all over his face and that. And he's, as I said, he was pure white and the front of his chest was just absolutely covered in blood. Oh, I was, I was like, oh my God. And one of the women that the missus works with, she's never owned cats or anything like that, or pets and or dogs and things like that. And she said she was mortified when she seen, like, it come in all covered in blood and a dead pigeon hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was freaking hilarious. <laughs> I started calling him killer now. Little shit, so he is. That might go a little bit too far. It might hit the tree. Oh, that's going to be absolutely perfect, actually. Oh, I'm quite glad it hit that sort of branch there. This might have just slowed it down a little. No, 319 yards. I don't think it would have reached that far side. Okay, 206, 23 up. So that is playing around about 213. I'll make that. So I'm going to go with a four iron, but I'm going to put a little bit of loft on it. So I think that still might be a bit too long. Oh, that's turning lovely though. Oh, come on, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Yeah, I thought that. But if I dropped it down a club, I don't think it would have made it. I should have checked, actually. But that leaves us a big putt. 
Oh, it's par five, isn't it? Oh, we're on for eagle here, so let's see if we can get this. Okay, 28 feet, two inches up. Again, this shouldn't turn too much. Oh, damn it. Have I hit that too short? <gasps> oh, look at that. A little bit more weight, and that would have took some of that break out, and I would have got that. I actually thought I'd under hit that again, like I did in that last part, but I got the last one. Okay, hole nine, 416 yards, par four, stroke in the next 10. That's a beautiful looking hole, very nice and wide and open. <coughs> I'll need to get in touch with them, um, have a crack game, and I'll probably message him on Twitter or something now that he's got his PC set up. Get a game of skins and that going, uh, a bit of match play and stuff like that. Right, now, am I going to make it over here? I think we are, because it's slightly downhill. Tell you what, let's aim it a little bit that side. <coughs> and we'll hit a fast, just to be sure. Not very fast, I went a fast. <laughs> but just wanted to make sure, and we did make it over. Nice. Okay, 126, 8 up. Uh, so I was playing around about 129. 136, put a bit of loft on it. Oh, that wind's moved that quite a bit. I tell you what, that wind is so unpredictable. Six mile an hour, it moved it. I, I know it's different uh, trajectory and high on the clubs and that, but <clears throat> that wasn't straight across that wind. Boom, get in now. Nice, nice putt. Still no new information on um, PGA 2, 2K 21. Uh, they haven't told us anything apart from that little snippet last week with the AMA. They asked me anything on um, Reddit that they didn't actually answer, that we didn't already know. <laughs> yeah, that really slowly drip feeding us. I mean, this is. I think they should bring out something every couple of days, you know what I mean? A couple of screenshots here, a little video here or there, but they're not bringing out anything at all. And it gets the, the natives a little bit restless on the forums and stuff. They start um, guessing and thinking what's going to be put in and what's not going to be put in instead of they, them coming out and saying, no, nope, this is going to be here, that's going to be there. We're doing this, we're doing that. I mean, I know we've still got a couple of months to go, but <clears throat> they could release a little bit every night, every couple of days, I think, just to keep the interest peaked, if you know what I mean. 234, 13 up, so it's playing around about 238. 253 is too much. I think we might make this, you know, or uphill. I don't think we will. Let's put a little bit of down loft on it. Now, if it's going to make it, it's going to leave us a huge putt, unless that turns again. I didn't look at the bloody green, did I? That's not too bad. That is actually pin high. Okay, what we've got here? 27 feet and one foot down. Oh, so close. We'll take the par of that. I'm going to have a quick look at the scorecard. Just see what we're doing. What are we on? We're on minus eight. We'll take the lead. Brooks Kepka's just come in there at the bottom. So that is a bloody good front nine. Look at that. Five, six birdies on the bounce we've had there. Nice. <coughs> okay, hole 11, 475 yards. Par four, stroke index 13. Again, you're getting that little, little bits of sun coming through here and there. I do like that effect, but it, it's like I said, you can't really see the first cut in that properly. It is a nice effect. Okay, right, thinness there. 
right here. Eat. Didn't want to hit her faster. Come on. Hope that wind might keep it on. Yep, it did. Nice. Very nice. Just over 300 yards. Left hand side of the fairway. Okay, 173. Playing 174. Let's go up to the 183 and we'll put a bit of loft on that. Right, come on, wind, push it in. I am not judging this wind at all, left and right today. <clears throat> but that is rolling pretty good towards the, the hole. Okay, 13 feet, one inch down. And we get another birdie, nice. At least my putting's doing not too bad today. Oh, 12, 405 yards, par four, stroke index 15. Yeah, I think like the 175 greens, they are absolutely spot on, I think, for putting. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Look at the, the sun just bouncing off that water as well. Right, driver. I'm going to have to aim it over here somewhere. But that's very thin there. I might actually run out. <coughs> Excuse me again. But can we make that though? Might be able to make that little bit of ground right there. Come on. I think it is. Oh, and we have. Nice. Oh, look at that. Right off the edge of the green now. So probably going to be a little sort of flop shot up here. Yeah. Going to put a bit of loft on this. Oh, it's a fast crap. Look how far it puts it past as well. <coughs> so you hit a fast, it puts it past. You hit a slow, it puts it past. <laughs> That's strange. Okay, 20 feet, four inches up. What is this? This is for three. Ah, it's okay. I was kind of hoping we wasn't going to hit a bogey here. Oh. That was a pretty bad putt. It sort of started off really quick there. I thought I'd actually hit it too hard. And it slowed down pretty quick as well. We'll take up the par. So there you go, that's not too bad though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven birdies in a row. <clears throat> Hole 13, 173 yards, par three, stroke index seven. Lovely retainable, all the way around this little sort of pond here. And again, look, see the way it just sort of comes down and levels, the retaining wall, that's very well done. Okay, we've got slopes either side. We can actually play up here and let it feed down. Okay, well, we've got 173, 21 down. So it's playing around about 166. 166, 160. A bit, oh, I don't like putting too much loft on it when a little water in front, but let's try that. Oh, no. That's okay, it's going to the right. Now, is it going to come back? Where's that going? Just please don't hit that other slope. Oh, it's going to go off. Yeah, not a very good shot. <clears throat> I probably could have went one more club down, I reckon, with that 11 mile an hour wind. Okay, let's drop that down. And we should pick up the par. That's why I'd love my putting stroke to be that, like that. <laughs> I only get one or two of them around. The rest of us all over to the left. Now, there you go. I mean, look, the sun's out now. Look at that. Tell you what, over the weekend, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it was absolutely roasting here. And then today, pissing it down the rain. <laughs> Good old British weather. Okay, let's just... Oh. 
See what I mean? It's really hard to see the the sort of first cut here. I mean, in TGC one, TGC two, you see a mile away because they've done a bit more, a bit of a better job with the blending on twenty nineteen. You'd see the big black lines on TGC one, TGC two. <coughs> so let's aim it over this way. <coughs> Don't know why that. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe just let that wind push it down into this little section here. Maybe let's try that. Oh, damn it, hit fast. <clears throat> so I think that's going to be over to the left in the rough. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, we made it. Nice. 320 yard drive. I actually thought we'd be playing out the rough with that. Okay, that leaves us 122, 25 up. So that's playing around about 130 ish. Yeah, let's put a bit of loft on that. <clears throat> Oh, that's turning a little bit much. It's going to be left of the pin, I think. But that's okay. We should pick up the birdie from now. Ah, I'm really enjoying this course. It's a very nice course. Okay, hole 15, 464 yards. Par 4, stroke index 3. I tell you what, we're doing not bad in the wind as well. Considering we we haven't actually had our approach shots dialed right in, if the wind's coming left or right. Okay, either side here, we can play up here, or we can play down here. I think we're going to play down here, because I think we're going to have enough room from where the ball's going to land to get over that tree to get to the green. So we'll play down this left-hand side and let the wind sort of just push it in for us again here. Absolutely bang on, right in the centre of the fairway. Just under 300 yards. And leaves us 164, 167 to the pin. 167, I think. I'm just going to hit this straight at it. Because you're going to get a little bit of run on when it hits the green. Come on. That's looking good if it runs up to the pin. Oh, that is not bad at all. Right. We should pick up a birdie here. But I've seen me miss the putts a lot shorter than this. Oh, that is not easy. Oh, we get it though. Nice. Okay, hole 16, 433 yards, par 4, stroke index 11. Yep, yeah, I mean, like a hole like this, I'd like to see this, like, more sun, more light on it. I like that red, though, I love that red, though, I just stand it right out. Okay, again, it's pretty hard to see that first cut there, where it just sort of cuts in right there. Six mile an hour wind coming in from the right. Oh, I might push it towards that bunker. I don't know actually whether we should play out here. And put a little bit of fade on it. Yeah, I think that'll probably work out better. Oh, that was so close to the top of that bunker there. <clears throat> It's left us on a pretty bad um, lie, though. I'd like to have been a little bit further to the right there. Okay, 135. Three up. 136. Uh, 136. We'll put some loft on that. Now, this um, slope and that wind, they should sort of counteract each other. Okay, pull up. Come on. Stop, stop, stop. A little bit more loft, I think. Okay, 14 feet, one inch up. 
Oh, we're putting well today. K hole 1784 yards, par 3, stroke index 5. Okay, pin center of the green here. Again, this is very sort of in shadow, if you know what I mean. You can't see the sort of planting around the base of the trees properly there. Okay, 184, 20 down. So it's playing around about 177-ish, around about. So let's put some loft on that. And that wind should slow it down a little bit as well. Okay, that wind's moved that quite a bit. That's not too bad though, the wind. It's gonna leave us quite a lengthy putt though. But we'll still pick up the par even if we don't do the birdie. Okay, well we've got 30 feet, three inches up. Nope, not hit it hard enough. I know it's actually bang on distance, but <clears throat> I didn't hit it hard enough to take that little bit of break out. And you can afford to do that on 175 greens. 187 you can't because it'll just go about 20 feet past. Okay, final hole. Hole 18, 538 yards, par 5, stroke index 1. And this is stroke index 1 as well. That's a great view of the, um, the waterfall there. I might take a screenshot there actually. I like the way it sort of turns around as well. Okay, let's have a quick look here. Yeah, I think that would look better in proper light, I think. Let's just take that screenshot there. There's a little par 3, I think it was a second of it. Why has that changed back to 1920 by 1080? I put that to 1440 by 250, wherever it is. <laughs> Uh, do, 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 do. I'll take the HUD back on. Um, nope, that bloody hell. What have I done? There we go. Yeah, 2560 by 1440, and it keeps changing back to 1920 by 1080. Oh, can we get through there? We can get over that first lot of trees there. And I think we could probably bounce off that rough, you know. Come on. Oh, oh, there's a lot of bushes there. Shit. Come on, has it made it? Has it made it? Oh, so bloody close. I think if I played that a little bit more to the left, I think we probably would have made that, you know. Oh, that's so tempting. 91, 96%. Oh, oh. I think I could make that. <laughs> But do I throw my round away and go for it? No, I'm going to drop it short. Don't want to throw it. It's been a pretty good round. Don't want to throw it away on the 18th. I still think I might have made that though. <laughs> I chickened out. Bottled it. Right, what have we got here? 72. 68. We'll go with the 68, I think. A little bit of loft. Oh, hold on. Let's aim it a little bit that way. Oh, nice. Perfect, perfect. That should be pretty close. Yeah, I think that was the right play to take. That should set us up for another birdie, and we'll finish at minus 13. So there you go, guys. That is Two Sisters Falls, and that is by Mio, and that is his entry into the CC Design Contest. What a beautiful course. Loved it. I like the planting, the course layout, the route, and everything was fantastic. Them waterfalls were absolutely beautiful. I think my only thing was maybe I'll, I'll play it again uh, in a day or two and put it in the afternoon just to see what it looks like. I did like the effect of the sort of 
the sun coming through here and it not coming through here and it's uh, lighting up this part of the course and not that part of the course and the, the big long shadows you get off some of the trees and that as well really really did make it stand out so again beautiful course really really enjoyed it give it a play and don't forget guys if you like content hit that like button leave a comment down in the comment section and i'll catch you again next time thanks for watching and stay safe